we are back with Dr. Ivan Griffith. Um, Dr. Griffith, what are some common common sense principles, I should say, you believe can be implemented immediately? I think it's important to, and this is true for any university, mm -hmm. any level of leadership at the university, to articulate some important principles in the context of values. And it was a good question in relation to that asked during the search process by the head of the union, and I'll tell you what I said to the committee. In the various places that I've, I've had the opportunity to be a, a teacher, a scholar, an academic leader, I've, I've tried to own and practice a couple of values, and I will be taking some of those today. First one has to do with excellence. Guyana can least afford, the University of Guyana can least afford to be comfortable with mediocrity. And so I'll be pushing the envelope on, if we think this is good, is it good enough from the vantage point of a student? If, it's, is, if you think this is good, is it good enough? Whatever the it is from the vantage point of lecturers, whether it's your teaching, your pedagogy, whether it's your research engagement, whether it's your service to the university community and to the broader community. Administrative leaders, if you think it's good, is it good enough? And so for me, it's always important to push the envelope on the what and the how pushing the envelope in the direction of let's move to an excellence. And my, I'll tell you, my business card at UG is going to have at the back of it something that has been, if you go to, to Florida International, you see on the wall of the college that I had the honor of leading, simple sentence from Aristotle that I've taken over the decades. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act. I'll be asking for habituation of good practices. That, for me, is an important one. Now, that's going to make a lot of people uncomfortable. But I think it's important that people who are not comfortable with excellence need to ask the question, is this the right place for them? And in the freedom that is Guyana's, people make choices about whether they should be at the university or go someplace else if they're not interested in, in excellence. A second important value for me is respect. And, and respect, by respect I mean not just saying good morning, good evening. By respect I mean, and, and this is going to be a major culture clash because it's a, it's a terrible thing for the entire Caribbean, timeliness. <laughs> and I made the point during the, the public discourse. If you as a lecturer at Ghana, the University of Ghana is not the only institution that has experienced this. I experienced it at many places that I've had the opportunity to be in. You were the lecturer. You set your office hours. Why are you not there? If you agree to teach a class, and the class is supposed to start at zero, 900 hours, why are you not there? So respecting people's time, respect is an important value. Here's a third one. Integrity. Technology has allowed societies and individuals, Guyana and Guyanese, to push the envelope on values and morals. You can easily buy a paper online. Does that comport with integrity? I think not. You can easily plagiarize your research paper. Does that comport with integrity? It's not. In a society where there are there is validity, it seems to me, with a lot of the allegations about corruption. We don't want the university to be a place, to be a zone for engaging in that kind of practice. 
whether financial or non-financial. And so I'll be, I plan to have some banners on campus with these values so people can see them all the time. It's also important, and I think this is part of what has undermined confidence of lots of constituencies on campus, students, the unions in particular. Transparency. Why all the secrecy? So I intend to make a lot of stuff public. I intend to have a new website that is a little more user-friendly and put stuff there. So we've got to have a certain sense of comfort that, except for things that are protected under privacy rules that are people's personal matters, we should be embracing the community of the university and sharing, getting feedback. Is some of the feedback going to be negative? Yes. But if you're at the university, whether you're a lecturer or the vice chancellor, you've got to be comfortable with criticism. Is some of the criticism going to be malicious? Yes. But that's the nature of being in a society where you have to let all ideas contend and bloom. Is there going to be, are there going to be people who are going to have their own agendas? Yes. We have to manage the agendas in a way that allows the greatest good be there for the greatest number and enable the society, to, the community of the university, to see the value of putting the whole above the parts. And I can understand why there's a lot of morale issues at the University of Ghana, the low salaries, we have to fix that this year. That's one of my top priorities. Uh, what some of the lecturers and the staff have been earning not only explains why morale is low, and disrespect may be there, but it explains why the university has not been able to attract quality folk from outside. There is too much inbreeding at the University of Ghana. We've got to allow paying respectful salaries to people who are there now, and we've got to pay respectful salaries to people coming. Are we going to have the money to give 100% increase? I suspect not. But I would want to pledge for a two or three year process to make right at least part of what I see as a significant injustice insofar as the salaries to the lecturers and staff on campus. And this is at all levels. That, I think, would engender a lot of sense of respect for self and for others. And in part of, an important part of building community. I'll tell you something which only a few people know, but more going to know now. I'll be doing as part of building community and respect. Father's Day this year, I'll be hosting a Father's Day luncheon on campus. Let's get some of the fathers to be celebrated. Let's talk about fatherhood. I'll do it for the mothers from next year. I'm not there, I wouldn't be there, for, wasn't there for this Mother's Day. But we've got to ask up the question, how can we find ways to build a sense of spirit, a sense of community? and build traditions. I'll be meeting with the student leaders when I go down to Ghana. And one of my questions to them is going to be, tell me what kind of traditions we should start thinking of that you would lead. I've got some ideas, but I want to have the students, I want to have the, the staff, I want to have the lecturers. I'll be meeting with uh, people at a variety of, le of levels, including the union people, because their voice and their role are important.